What's going on guys? Welcome to the Pet Model Live channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today's one of the best days ever. We're bringing my reef tank to life. All right guys, so I got the tank getting filled up at the moment. It's gonna take about 12 to 13 hours. In the meanwhile, I'll be able to hook up my Apex. Uh, it's my first time using it, so I'll be able to get myself familiarized with the whole Apex system, create my profile, do all that good stuff. Uh, once I get myself familiarized, I'll be able to hook up my uh, modules and then be able to hook up my uh, flow sensors, and my leak detectors, and also calibrate some probes. So uh, once we get that all good, we'll be able to get the tank almost up and running. Alright guys, so I was able to fill up the tank overnight. I only filled up the display tank at the moment. Um, I'm gonna fill up the sump later on with the salt water I already have mixed for my salt water mixing station. But before we add salt into the display tank, I'm gonna take the temperature, see what it's looking like. Whew. So right now it's showing uh, 70 degrees or so, 70.7. So, looks like I'm gonna have to heat it up a bit. It's going up a little bit, 72. So, my goal is 78, so I'm gonna pop in a heater and uh, turn on the MP40s, and then when it gets to 78 degrees, pop in the salt. Get that 
to go. All right, guys, so I got the heater plugged in. That's on. We got the thermometer currently saying it's 74.3 degrees. So you want to crank up the temperature a bit more, about 78 degrees. And um, I'm going to turn up the MP40s just to circulate the water a little bit more. All right, so those on are about halfway, kind of distribute the temperature a little bit better. And uh, there's roughly about 80 gallons of water in the tank. I didn't want to fill it up to the top. And uh, I just, I know that we're putting in some rock and some uh, sand in here, so um, left some room for that. So I'm gonna be using Tropic Marin Pro Reef Salt in the tank. So I'm gonna be pouring about 80 half cups of salt in here, which is gonna take some time, but. So once it hits 78 degrees, we'll be able to get that going. All right guys, so I got the temperature up to 78 degrees. You can see there, 78.1, so uh, we're at the ideal temperature. So we're good to put in salt. Um, I'm gonna crank up the MP40s, that way the salt can easily be mixed. Um, I pre-measured my salt. We're using Tropic Marin Pro Reef Salt, and the ratio is a half a cup per gallon, so I've got 40 cups of salt in here, um, 80 half cups, so it's quite a bit of salt. I won't pour all of it at once because the pumps could get clogged. Um, it's happened to me before. But um, yeah, so I'll, I'll just uh, start pouring some in. of it. <laughs> Alright guys, so we got the salt mixing in the tank and I'm going to give it about 24 hours for it to fully mix and then we'll test the salinity tomorrow, hopefully at 1.0 to 6. That's our goal. Um, might have to do some adjustments. You know how that goes when it comes to mixing salt, but uh, if that works out well, 1.026, I'll be able to put in my sand and then my rock, hopefully tomorrow, and at the end of the week, get some fish. All right guys, we have some water in the tank. We added salt, we tested it. It's at 1.026. Everything is solid, temperature is solid. Now it's time to add our rock and some sand. So you may have seen my aquascaping video. Um, I did that about six months ago. So to be honest with you, I did some thinking and I'm probably gonna make a few adjustments to it. A um, Couple issues that I had with that aquascape was that it was a little too tall. Um, I wanted to have room for more uh, growth for the SPS coral that's gonna be in the tank. So I'm gonna eliminate the height, lower it a little bit um, of the original escape that I did. And then I also wanted to have some more swimming space for the fish. So that's another reason why I wanted to kind of make some adjustments to that aquascape. So uh, you may see me do a little bit of aquascaping in this video. I thought I had it all planned um, originally, but you know, you always gotta make some adjustments. Not always perfect the first time, but uh, we'll see how this goes.
All right guys, so I got pretty much most of the aquascaping done. I'm gonna do some final touches, do some more um, epoxying of the rock, but uh, in the meanwhile, I'm gonna actually start putting some sand in the tank. Uh, I'm using Carib Sea Fiji Pink. So it's kind of like a medium uh, green. It's not super fine, but it's not like super coarse. So uh, hopefully it doesn't give me any sandstorms in the, in the tank. But yeah, I'm gonna start pouring this in. All right guys, so I filled up the sump with water. That's good. Also added some more water into the tank. So it's at a good level at the moment. So I think it's time to turn on the core 20 and get some water flow in this. So uh, hopefully the water will get a little bit more clear. All right, so let's turn it on. We're all good. Boom. Core 20, it's on. And we are rolling. Pretty good. We're rolling, we're rolling. We are good. Got the core 20. There's also a piece of tubing in here. Grab this guy. Good. If I turn on the clear C, this thing will get clear, like fast. And some uh, spillage. All right guys, so the Carib C sand comes with a bag of this clarifier. So um, in order to use it, you need to grab some tank water, about a cup or so. And cut it open. Pour it into the water and mix it up. Slowly pour it into the tank.
All right, guys, so we finished Aquascape 2.0 and the tank is now alive. I'm super happy with how it turned out. We got our main island on this side and it's got kind of like a flat uh, top just so I have enough space for SPS to grow. You can see that it only took up like half the height of the tank. So there's definitely a lot of room to grow. Um, you'll see that there's an elevation change. It goes down. And then I love how there's a valley right between the two uh, islands. And so we have a little mini island right over here. And this mini island has like a small cave right over there. So there's definitely a lot of cool places where fish can kind of hang out, do their thing, um, and uh, kind of find a place to sleep at night. And uh, if you look all around the tank, every view is super cool. We got three cool different views. And um, one of my favorite views is this right over here where you see through the valley. And um, you definitely see the step down right over here. I like that, that's probably one of my favorite, favorite views of it. Um, and uh, so tomorrow is definitely an exciting day. We're putting in our first fish into the tank. So um, I'm gonna meet up with a gentleman from Ocean Devotion. Uh, his name is Adam. And uh, we'll basically meet with him and he's gonna hand off the first fish for this tank. I won't tell you what it is right now. You're gonna have to wait and see and watch that video, but definitely gonna be a super cool fish. Um, let me give you a hint. I'm getting two of them. So, two fish tomorrow. All right, well, if you like what you saw, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for all your support. We recently hit 500 subscribers. We're on our way to the next milestone, which is 1,000. Super awesome. Thank you so much for your support. Make sure you comment down below, and I'll see you on the next video.